What's up everybody and welcome back to Grippin' Rippin' Fishing. My name is Trey and I just wanted to take a second to explain that I did change the name on the channel. So um, I was getting a little bit of feedback that it was a little hard to search for the name so I changed it to GNR Fishing. We are still Grippin' Rippin' Fishing and um, we're headed out bright and early this morning. It's 5 o'clock currently. Got about a 40 minute ride over to the pond. Gonna do a little bit of a, a club fishing tournament. It's a five fish bag, have to be 12 inches long. Kind of goes towards the, the yearly points. So awesome news, um, getting a bass boat. So I've got it hooked up now. Gonna take it out for a test run today. And uh, I think it'll be mine this week. So super excited about that. And it should give us the opportunity to get some crazy good footage from here on out. So if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It should be red down below, make it turn gray. Um, I went through the analytics the other day and realized that 99.1% of the people that are watching my videos are not subscribed to the channel. Uh, I think I've got 20, 25,000 views at this point, but we are approaching 500 subscribers now. So uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what I need to do to make you guys hit that subscribe button. We are gonna get over there to the pond. Got a 40 minute ride ahead of us. We gotta launch this thing. I'm not used to any of that yet. So it is gonna be uh, you know, a learning experience. As of now, I'm a complete noob. And uh, hopefully we get out there and we catch some fish today. Oh, this is gonna be freezing. The wind is blowing probably 20 miles an hour. Um, guess this is a good day to figure out the boat. So, but we successfully got it in the water and uh, man, it's been like 85 degrees all week and now it's probably 40 degrees out here and windy. So the water temperature is still around 60 though. So I don't know if it's gonna affect the fishing very much, but I hope not. Just trying to figure everything out, uh, trying to figure out how to turn on this live well in the event that I do catch a fish here in the next couple of minutes. I just want there to be some water in here. Um, a few switches on the boat, you know, never, never had a boat before. So just trying to figure out how to do everything. So I got a bass on a bed back here. Let's see if we can't pull it off. Be a good one if I get it. Oh, we landed right on top of it. Let's see what happens.
All right, so I'm hooked up with a big old pickerel. She's still running. Whew. Come on. All right, I'm just gonna grab the net for this one. Cause this is uh, putting up a way bigger fight than I expected. Oop, she's under the boat. Oh goodness. We're wrapped all around the trolling motor. Let's get this in the boat and then we can take care of getting this rod back. I am all wrapped up. That is one big pickle. I'm gonna cut this line. That way. Pull that free. We can get where we need to be with the boat, and I can get the hook out of this fish's mouth. Put up a fun fight too. That is an absolute monster of a pickerel. Get this hook out of his mouth. She came in at 3.56 pounds on the scale, and we're just gonna let this go. Can't keep them, not doing me any good. It's definitely one thing I'm gonna have to get used to is uh, navigating a fish off the front of this boat with this trolling motor, because that turned into a fiasco quick when it wrapped my line around the motor. So I guess these guys help each other out and um, I handed off my keys. Someone's gonna back the truck down to the water and I'm gonna pull the boat up on there and they're gonna pull me out and we're good to go. So it's good to have a bunch of people here to help you out. Cause if not, you'd have to do this all by yourself and wouldn't be so easy. So we are all done back home. Uh, not a very eventful day out there on the water. Uh, the winds were ridiculous probably 20 30 40 mile per hour winds um i know the sustained winds were about 15 to 17 and then we had some huge gusts um it made for some bad fishing conditions and um i was just using the trolling motor trying to get across the pond sometimes the belt the boat felt like it was at a, a standstill but uh we got it done um unfortunately we didn't land any bass so uh the pickerel that we did catch didn't count for anything, but it was an absolute fun fight. Uh, got all hung up in the trolling motor, uh, but we figured it out. I went ahead and cut the line and then just uh, cleared the line from the trolling motor and worried about the fish later. And uh, so it all worked out in the end. And uh, here in Delaware, I measured that thing. It was uh, 25 inches and almost 3.6 pounds. Uh, 24 inches is actually a citation pickerel here in Delaware. So would have been a citation fish. So it was definitely a big pickerel. And uh, I can't wait to show you guys this boat. I know you saw a little bit in the video today. I would like to uh, give you guys the old walkthrough. And this is gonna open up some, some new doors for some awesome fishing videos here in the future and uh, i think it's going to be a lot of fun so if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh follow us here on gripping ripping fishing see you guys next time